Outdoors bound tonight. The James River is a better place thanks to some people you may think of as local heroes. They've been coming to the river's rescue for about a dozen years now. George Noliff of our Outdoors Bound team has that story for us. All right, good start. This is a story that should make you smile and it should make you mad. You should be smiling because of people like John Mays. John operates Twin River Outfitters in Buchanan, and he's one of the people behind the ongoing effort to remove tires from the James River. You should probably be mad because those tires are in the river in the first place. We've hit sections year after year, and they just they, they keep coming back. John and groups of volunteers have been pulling tires out of the James for a dozen years. In that time, they've cleared more than 2,600 of them. They took out 160 this summer from Iron Gate to Arcadia, enough to fill a dumpster. There's no easy way to do it. Folks float the James, snatching up tires along the way. Some of the tires are really small, others are great big and very heavy, so it's, it's kind of tricky to get them in a canoe to paddle them down the river to get them to the next safe spot to exit the river. Oh man, there you go. Oh, the James is one of the top smallmouth bass fisheries on the East Coast, and it's also a prime paddle sports destination. Keeping it beautiful is just good for business, and it's good because it's a vital natural resource that we all share. John says things are improving, that the number of tires found in the river is actually down this year, but we all can do a little better. Just dispose of your tire properly. It's super hard to get them out of the river. Um, and it's just so much easier just to dispose of them right the first time. So how can you help? Well, you can volunteer. Check with John at Twin River Outfitters in Buchanan. John also gets a lot of help from local Boy Scout troops and from the Botetourt County government, which provided that dumpster you saw in the piece. That's pretty great, George. Thank you.